For a PA wrist, we're going to be at a 40 inch SID. You could use an 8x10 cassette. That would be the most ideal. We're going to use a 10 by 12 here. Um, it's important that you flex the digits into a loose fist so that you bring the carpal bones um, closer to the IR. We're going to be centered to the mid carpal area, so just about here. You should have light up to about the knuckles. The shoulder and forearm are all on the same plane, and your elbow does need to be flexed at a 90 degree angle. Oblique wrist, you're going to rotate the wrist 45 degrees. If you want to keep their fist um, loosely, loosely tightened, that's okay. It doesn't really matter if their fist is out or not. Um, you want to be at 45 degrees. This is over rotated, this is under rotated. So you're going to be about here. And we're perpendicular to the mid carpal area still. wrist, you're going to have them put the ulnar surface of their arm against the IR and you kind of want them to karate chop the board. It's the best way. I'm going to have you come forward just a little bit. Uh, the best way to, to describe it. You're going to be centered at the mid carpal area. Now this looks lateral. However, when you get your image, it's not going to be perfectly lateral. If you kind of over rotate them just slightly, it's going to be more lateral. It's going to give you a better image and you can call me in quite a bit on the lateral. Just leave enough light for your marker there. And again, shoulder, forearm are on the same plane.